will have many situations where we need to maximize or minimize we call it as optimization a solution when you substitute in objective function it should give maximum value or minimum value dear students objective function means a function which we need to maximize or minimize vertices of feasible region we call it as corner points welcome to the session dear students today I'll go ahead with very important chapter that is linear programming problems. So here the basic is we'll have many situations where we need to maximize or minimize. We call it as optimization. We call it as what? Optimizing. Optimizing means what? Either maximizing, sometimes we need to maximize. Or sometimes we need to minimize. Maximizing or minimizing is optimization. In any industry, in production basically, people want to minimize the cost. So we need to what? Minimize the cost of production. So minimize the cost of production. Minimization of cost. And we need profit to be maximized. So maximization of what? Profit. Maximization of profit. So, minimization or maximization of profit deals with linear programming problem. Linear means we will write degree 1 equations and they will give constraints. In many situations, we have conditions. Conditions we call them as constraints. Using constraints, we will create an inequality and using inequality, we will draw the graph and we will solve the graph to get the feasible region or solution region which gives you optimal value maybe minimum value or maximum value depending on the problem you want to find maximum or minimum through the graph we can find that is a basic theme of the chapter now linear programming is mathematical tool or technique which deals with the optimization means what minimization or maximization as i told you certain cases we need to maximize like profit we need to maximize cost we need to minimize so, linear programming is a technique or tool which helps you to optimize, which deals with optimization or means maximization. Optimization means what? Minimization or maximization of activities and subject to available resources. Depending on what is available, what is the source available or resource available, so we need to maximize or minimize. For example, we have to maximize the production, minimize the cost, maximize the profit, minimize the cost. And depending on available resources. So in production, we need machines, we need labor hours, and so space constraints will have. And in diet problems or in mixtures, we will have constituent uh, constraints. So depending on the constraints, subject to the available resources, we have to maintain conditions. We call them as constraints. And linear programming deals with what? Optimization. Linear programming deals with what? Optimization. What is meant by optimization? Either maximization or minimization. So we have to minimize or maximize particular function depending on what? Available resources. That is the basic theme of what? Linear programming. The mathematical technique which deals with what? Optimization of the activities like cost or cost of production or profit or labor hours. So it deals with what? Optimization of activities depending on the available resources. Now, how to solve any problem? First, we should know what is objective function. A function which we need to maximize or minimize, a function which we need to optimize is called as objective function. So generally, it will be in the form z is equal to ax plus by. So a linear function of the form ax plus by which we need to optimize, which we need to what? Optimize is objective function. So first step to write the mathematical form of the objective function. We, after reading the question, you should be able to write the objective function. That is the first step involved in solving the problem. Or first, we should create the LPP and then we need to solve the LPP. They will give a situation or they will give a problem. Convert the problem to linear programming problem. The first step in converting it into LPP is formulating LPP. First step deals with writing the objective function. So read the question and write the objective question. What is the objective function? What is the objective function? A function which you need to maximize or minimize. Generally, we write that function as z is equal to ax plus by. And this z we need to find, sometimes we need to find z max, sometimes we need to find z min. So first step is what? First step is what? Writing the objective function. 
read the situation given and write the objective function. What is the objective function? A function which we need to optimize, a function which we need to maximize or minimize is called as objective function. That is the first step involved. And the second step is so set of variables called as feasible solution. So in feasible solution, so use the constraints, read the constraints. See, when I take the steps, first optimal solution. If you want optimal solution, uh, optimal solution means what? Set of solution which gives maximum or minimum value of the objective function is optimal solution. And in order to write this optimal solution, first we should identify the variables and formulate the objective function. Then solve the, create the inequalities, conditions and solve and get this objective function. First feasible solution. What is feasible solution? Set of points where the function gives maximum or minimum. In feasible region, we will get optimal solution. Optimal solution means what? A solution which gives maximum value or minimum value. So you know Z is objective function. So for this objective function, when you substitute, say suppose I have a point called A, X1, Y1. When I substitute A, X1, Y1, you may get maximum or minimum. So this, if it gives maximum, at this point, this point is called as optimal solution. Optimal solution will be present in what feasible region. So optimal solution is also called as feasible solution. What is meant by optimal solution? A solution when you substitute in objective function, it should give maximum value or minimum value. Optimum value. Then steps in formulating. So now I'll teach you what are the steps involved. So to explain the steps involved, today we'll take one example also. Identify the unknown given in LPP. First, you should identify what is the unknown given in LPP and name it as XY. So, first step is what? Identify the unknown given in LPP and name it as XY. Formulate the objective function. Then you write Z objective function. Objective function means I told you which you need to maximize or minimize. First, you should identify unknowns, name them as XY. Then you should write the objective function in terms of XY. Then solve the inequations, create the inequations are constraints. So all these steps to make and after that creating constraint, use the constraints, we call them as conditions or inequalities, draw the graph and find the feasible region. Common region of shading is feasible region. That region gives you optimal solution. So now before we go to all these steps, I'll take one situation or one example, then you can understand better. Say six steps are there. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. So if I tell this six steps by taking an example, it will come easy for you. Means I'll come back with example. Now see, observe, they'll give a situation like this. A person wants to decide the constraints of diet, uh, which fulfill the daily requirement, daily requirement, proteins, fats, carbohydrates. And he has to combine such that he should have minimum cost. So obviously he has to take the ingredients and mix or he has to take the constituent and mix and form a food and that food should meet the requirements of proteins, fats, carbohydrates. Minimum value of uh, protein, fats, carbohydrates required it should meet and also the cost should be minimum, cost should not exceed. The combination is made to made among two types of foods A and B, you have to mix A and B whose contents are indicated below. They give two types of food. This is food A, food B. And food A contains protein 5 units and uh, food B contains proteins 2 units. Fats, food A contains 6 units and food B contains 5 units. Carbohydrates, food A contains 4 units, food B contains 3 units. And cost of food A is 70 rupees and cost of uh, food B per unit is 50 rupees. And interesting is you need minimum proteins 800 units and minimum fats 300 units and minimum carbohydrates 700 units and formulate LPP. So please understand they want to minimize the cost when you read. They want to minimize the cost. Cost of A and cost of B and they want to mix A and B. How much to be mixed is not given. So that's what I told you while formulating. I'm coming back to this. Identify the unknown. Identify the unknown and name it as XY. So in the situation, your unknown is how much I should mix A and B. So that's why first I'll take identify. So I identified it. So let X and X units of A, X units of what A and Y units of B, Y units of B are mixed, 
are mixed. So I am mixing these two. Dear students, when I read the situation, a person decides to decides the constituents of diet which will fulfill the daily requirement. For that, he will combine two types of foods A and B and he want to meet this. So he is mixing A and B. How much he should mix? We do not know. So that is unknown. First step is identify the unknown. So A number of units we do not know. B how much you should mix we do not know. So let us assume X units of A and Y units of B are to be mixed. And second step. So we identified. Second step formulate objective function. Dear students objective function means a function which we need to maximize or minimize. First identify that. So in this example they want they want they want the combination is made among the two food productions A and B, food products A and B indicated below and they should get cost should be minimum. What should be minimum? Cost should be minimum. Please observe they want you to minimize the cost. So minimize the cost. Please observe they want you to what? Minimize the cost. Clearly they gave he has to decide constituents means that is food A and food B how much you should mix such that the cost should be minimum. Cost should be what? Minimum. The function which we need to minimize or maximize is objective function. So what they want to minimize? They want to minimize cost. So therefore cost has to be minimized. Logic is simple. So first step I identified how much and second step I am going for what? Uh, second step we are taking that is objective function. So objective function means a function which we need to minimize or maximize. So here cost is the objective function. Cost we need to minimize. So Z is cost. What is cost of A? Sorry, what is cost of A? They give column A, food A, the cost per unit they give. Cost per unit is 70. And we are mixing how much? We are taking X units of A. One unit of A cost is given in table. One unit of A is 70 units. X units of A, X units of A is 70 times X. This is cost of A. I am mixing both A and B. So I should calculate cost of A and B put together. Now cost of B. So in the column cost of B is given. What is cost of B? 50 rupees per one unit. And we are taking how many units? We are taking Y units of B. So cost of B is 50 into Y. This is the cost function. Z is the cost function. And why Z means objective function. What is meant by objective function? A function which we need to maximize or minimize is called as objective function. Here they want you to minimize the cost. That's why any objective function we should call it as Z. Z is equal to cost of A plus cost of B. What is cost of A? So if you see the column cost of A is 70 rupees for one unit and you are mixing X units. So 70 X is cost of A. Total cost means cost of A plus cost of B. What is cost of B? In the column they give 50 rupees. So 50 into Y. So Z is 70x plus 50y. First step identify unknown. Second step write the objective function. What is unknown here? How many units of A and B we need to mix we do not know. So I am assuming x unit of A I am mixing and y units of B I am mixing. So x and y are the unknowns we identified. And second one we should write the objective function. What is objective function? A function which we need to maximize or minimize. So here they want to, to minimize cost if you read. They want to, to minimize cost so I will write cost as cost function. What is cost? Cost of A plus cost of B. What is cost of A? 70 into X plus cost of B 50 into Y. And how I wrote this? Seeing the table. In the table they give cost of one unit of A is 70. So cost of one unit of B is 50. So 70 into X units of A plus 50 into Y units of B is total cost. Total cost we call it as Z. Z is what? Objective function. Two steps I have covered. So we have done second step also. What is second step? Create objective function, formulate objective function. I wrote objective function is what z is equal to. First step find the unknowns. I told unknown is what x units of a in the story and y units of what b. This is unknown. Second step is what formulate objective function. Objective function in the story is what cost. So cost is cost we need to minimize. So z is equal to 70x plus 50y I wrote. Third step solve the inequality simultaneously and get the common region. So third step, first you should formulate the inequality. So I should formulate the inequality. So inequality they told after you mix minimum protein requirement is 800. So read the table protein minimum requirement is 800 units. Dear students, dear students, minimum means that much or more than that. See A I am taking how much X, B I am taking how much Y. So constant what they give? Mm, so 5 x because a contains 5 units of protein 
So x one unit of one a one unit of a contains five units of proteins. X units contains five x. And b after you mix b contains two units. So for one unit of b contains two proteins, two units of proteins. So y units contains two y. 5x plus 2y is protein. After you mix, it should be minimum 800. After you mix A and B, the food should contain minimum 800. Means minimum 800 means not that much or more than that. Minimum passing marks is 35. Means what 35 is passing. If you get more than 35 is also passing. So minimum means greater than or equal to. So one constant I am writing that is protein constant. What is the protein constant? 5x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 800 because after you mix minimum 800 units protein should be there. If you have more than 800, not an issue. Then similarly, fats 6x plus 5y. Fat is what? 6x plus 5y. Greater than or equal to what is the constant? 300. And the last carbohydrates. Carbohydrates how much? 4 into x plus 3 into y. 4x plus 3y should be greater than or equal to what? 700. And you know, uh, X and Y means number of units. Number of units, whatever you are mixing cannot be negative. They should be always greater than or equal to zero. So X greater than, so these are called as constraints. And these are constraints, conditions or inequalities. So here we say, find the coordinates of all the vertices of feasible region. So now we got constants. Using the constants, so three constants will give three different lines or three different graphs. Draw the graph and shade them. And after you shade them, we will get common region. Common region is called as feasible region. In that feasible region, you should write two tables, one corner point and one Z. So in that corner point, you write the vertices of feasible region. So feasible region means common region. So that will take up with a graph. So now solve the constants. So solve the equations. I created three equations. Solve the equations and find the coordinates. So when you solve the equation means graphically and find the coordinates of feasible region, we call them as corner points and create a table corner point and substitute the corner point in Z. So the point which gives maximum value and minimum value should identify depending on the problem. That's it. So now dear students here, I created, uh, first I took unknown, then I created objective function, then I wrote object constant. For this, we should draw graph or we should solve it graphically. Solve graphically. How to solve graphically? I no need to tell the whole story because you have learned linear inequalities of 11th. But again, we'll, I'll teach you how to create a graph, how to solve a graph using this. So now today, this is formulating LPP. Z is equal to 70x plus 50y and subject to, these are the conditions. Subject to the conditions. What are the conditions? These are the conditions. 5x plus 2y greater than or equal to 800. 6x plus 5y greater than or equal to 300. 4x plus 3y greater than or equal to 700. xy greater than or equal to 0. x is the number of units of a. y is the number of units of b. We are mixing. Number of units cannot be less than 0. They cannot be negative. That's what. And we have to draw graph only for constraints. After you draw graph for constraints, we should shade the common region. Share the F and retain the common region. Common region of solution is called as feasible region. Vertices of feasible region, we call it as corner points. Substitute the corner points. First step is formulating. In my next session also, I'll teach you formulating. Then I'll teach you how to solve the linear inequality. Today, I started with the chapter linear programming. Linear programming means what? It's a mathematical technique that deals with optimization, optimization of the activities using the available resources is called as linear programming problems. Formulating LPP, solving LPP by graph is there in your syllabus. Formulating, more or less I have taught now, but again in detailed stepwise I will be teaching you and solving the graph, I will teach you in my next session. I hope all of you understood what I gave a brief introduction for LPP. So then we will go ahead with the formulating LPP in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.